the Tunisian fruit vendor that immolated himself in December of 2010 and died in January of this year became the spark that, that started the firestorm that we now call the Arab Awakening, which then leapfrogged into Europe by May and spread throughout Spain and Italy and other France, reached as far as Sweden. And then by August, or no, was it September 17th? Yes, September. Uh, a, a number of Americans decided to go to the central nervous system of global finance capital. Wow and started a complete antithesis, a complete antithesis, same target, same target, but complete antithesis <laughs> of the 9-11 attack on exactly the same nerve center, only 10 years apart. So September 11, you have a, 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 a violent, attack on ordinary Americans, but the symbols are not ordinary. They didn't go hit a park in the middle of Utah. They went and attacked the nerve center of the global financial system. And you could say the headquarters of global capitalism, which was the trade center, world trade center, and then the Pentagon, and there were they were, they were on their way to attack either Congress or the White House when the last plane uh, went down through the action of American pa uh, passengers. If you think about the fact that the, um, the Occupy Wall Street movement is connected to a world peaceful but extremely powerful people's movement that manifested itself in exactly the same place where 10 years before there was a violent attack. But this is now kind of like the tide washing New York with the peaceful movement that started the uh, Arab uh, Spring. And that this happened within 10 months and that we still had two months, more, two months to spare. I'm predicting I, 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 in my wildest imagination, I didn't think we would be here in November. Maybe in 2015 or something. But no, we, we, the year hasn't even been over. So I got very surprised at the speed of this spread.